This is a book bull summary of the book Get Smart by Brian Tracy. The human mind is a complex and brilliant thing. It has evolved over millions of years and is still the subject of much scientific scrutiny. Each human brain is different and, so it goes without saying, certain people will be more proficient at certain things than others. Getting smarter does not mean that you necessarily need to be more intellectual or more creative or even better at math. Knowing your own mind and how it operates is the key to unlocking your brain's potential and self-development guru Brian Tracy has nine ways to do just that. Number one, change your perspective. It's easy to become trapped in a cycle of confirmation biases that pander to one fixed narrative. This narrative may be easy to understand and give satisfactory answers to the complex questions that permeate our lives. However, Brian Tracy is convinced that only looking at the world through one fixed perspective will not adequately unlock your brain's potential. In fact, our brains are widely understood to be operating at only 2% of their capacities. Tracy believes that we all have the power to tap into 98% of our brain that remains idle. Doing this, he says, requires a shift in perspective. Changing your perspective can be as easy as becoming more of an optimistic person. A pessimist may regard constructive criticism as a personal insult, and this in turn will hinder opportunities to adapt and evolve. Focusing not simply on a part of something, but on the whole, is key to broadening your mind's horizons. Number two, think long term with immediacy. This sounds like an oxymoron, right? Well, not exactly. The world is full of long term and short term thinkers. We are led to believe that thinking on our feet and adapting quickly to what changes around us is a recipe for success. However, Brian Tracy suggests that the most of the world's richest and most intelligent individuals are long-term thinkers. Studies reveal that out of the 290 new billionaires in 2015, 66% were self-made and gained their wealth from next to nothing at all. These billionaires were not act-first, think-later sorts of people. Their businesses required a clear and long-term plan. But it's one thing having a plan, and it's another thing entirely to act upon it. Unlocking your brain's potential means planning carefully for any eventuality in the future, and then acting accordingly in the present. Number three, slow down your thinking. Distractions are all around us. We live in a busy world where a thousand things are taking place in our peripheral vision all at once. Our brains acclimatize to this constant throng of activity and our thoughts move in tandem with the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Our brains fire off hundreds of thousands, if not millions of signals every second. The smallest interruption, such as a text message appearing on your phone screen is enough, according to Brian Tracy, to impulsively change your thought processes. Tracy references the Nobel Prize winning psychologist, Daniel Kahneman, when he suggests that there are two types of thought processes, impulsive and fast, and slow and rational. Tracy suggests that in order to unlock the rational part of your brain, then an extended period of solitude is required. Giving your brain space to rest and, more importantly, think clearly without distractions is imperative to unlocking your brain's full potential. Number four, ask the right questions and do your research. We all want a quick and easy recipe for success. However, as Brian Tracy has described thus far, short-term and reactive thinking does not necessarily equate to long-term success. When starting a new enterprise or business model, doing your research is vital to the long-term success of your endeavor. Tracy asks the question, why is it that 80% of new products flop and have to be withdrawn? The answer is pretty simple. These products were not what consumers were looking for. Doing your research requires asking yourself extensive questions and putting yourself in the shoes of others. If we live our lives according to the confirmation bias which is pivoted on what we think is a success, we are ignoring other individuals' thought processes. When starting a business, Tracy suggests hypothesizing about all the ways in which your business idea can fail and then plan around how you can counteract these perceived shortcomings. Asking the right questions of yourself 
will help unlock your brain's potential. Number five, follow a written goal and stay on track. If our brains are working at a million miles an hour, so is the world around us. Life can feel cluttered at the best of times, and on top of a busy work schedule, technological advancements mean that we must juggle a multitude of tasks at once. And keeping up with these changes can feel, according to Brian Tracy, overwhelming. When living a chaotic existence, it can sometimes feel like your goals can get lost in the maelstrom of life. Tracy suggests slowing things down a little bit. Making sure you set up a clear path to success. The first step in doing this? Grab a pen and some paper. Writing down your goals is completely different than storing them in your head. Next, Tracy suggests picking a goal and on a separate sheet of paper, delving into what makes the goal so special. Breaking up your goals into smaller, more achievable chunks will declutter your thought processes. Setting a realistic time frame on the goal will also mean it's easier to stick to. Number six, don't waste time procrastinating. We all need time to relax. Part of living a healthy and sustainable life is down to maintaining a work-life balance that works for you. However, the biggest distraction of all is, according to Brian Tracy, a habit that most of us picked up at school. This is play. Play is addictive. It releases a large amount of serotonin to the brain. And as adults, play can be anything from enjoying a drink at a bar with friends to relaxing in front of the television. But play could also be an unhealthy distraction, especially when focusing on long-term money-making goals. Tracy suggests that a good way to counteract procrastination is something called the law of three. It's time to grab that pen and paper again. In any given day, writing down at least six tasks and making sure you complete at least three is a brilliant way of making the most of your time. Once three of these tasks are complete, then you have trained your brain to be productive. Number seven. Develop a flexible mind. In an ever expanding and advancing technological world, keeping your ear to the ground and staying up to date with what is going on around you is key to unlocking your brain's potential. The world of business is cutthroat, and with industries vying to be the most technologically advanced, there is no time to stand on ceremony. Brian Tracy states that the best way to keep yourself ahead of the game is to have a flexible mindset. Flexible thinking requires adapting quickly to change. Modern day environments do not favour traditionalist thinking anymore. Being flexible often comes hand in hand with being ruthless, and listening to ideas that are outdated is a surefire way of blocking any road to success. Tracy says that as hard as it is to cut out activities that no longer bring reward, the results are worth it. Adapt to the world and the world will adapt to you. Number 8 take creative chances. Creative thinking and mechanical thinking are two polar extremes. However, we are all guilty of thinking mechanically from time to time. Mechanical thinking is based on extreme and irrational reactive thinking. Turning a minor setback into a catastrophe can stymie your growth and derail your goals and ambitions. Thinking creatively means recognising that making mistakes is part of a process. It is how you adapt and move on from making mistakes so those very same mistakes are not repeated which is fundamental to unlocking your brain's potential. Brian Tracy has some simple steps towards thinking more creatively. He suggests defining your problem and then working to find a solution. Once this solution has been ascertained, making a note of it will mean that the problem is never repeated. Number 9. Think like a wealthy person. Our brain is capable of tremendous feats of ingenuity. We are all, to some extent, dreamers. We may ask ourselves from time to time what the secret is to success. Well, Brian Tracy believes that the most wealthy people have a wealthy mindset. This is because of something called the law of correspondence, which means that your outlook and perceptions of life will be reflected externally. If you really want something and it is clearly defined within you internally, then achieving your goals is as simple as transitioning into a mindset where the goals can be realised externally. Having a wealthy mindset means that acquiring wealth should never be considered as an impossible feat. If you have the mindset that working hard will achieve your goals, then, simply put, you will achieve them. 
What's your most important key takeaway? Please comment down below and share the video if you like it. Thank you, and until next time.